Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel, Pretty Hands My Zone Readings. This reading is for my Earth Signs, Virgo Taurus, Capricorn for the upcoming week of February 18, 2019. We also have a full moon in Virgo on the 19th. So we already got endings, completions with the full moon, but in Virgo, Virgo is more about um, sticking to your plan, being very methodical, getting things done there could also be some pushback in terms of if things are happening as fast as you would like for them to happen um the virgo full moon is definitely gonna kick you into full drive um so yes all right so let's see what are the themes for what are the major themes for my earth signs for the week of february 18, 2019, please. It's 444. Hey! <laughs> we got the commence. West. West. Somebody else. Somebody else. Somebody else. Somebody else. Alright. Earth signs. Heavy focus on other people. And somebody else. Is what it's looking like. Um. So since you have... First of all, angel number 32, look it up, see if it pertains to you, resonates. So you got the commence card, earth signs. New beginnings, the arrow is about to leave the bow. You're getting a lot of things in place. It could be moving, you could be packing to move, you could be moving into a new office, a new job, a new environment. You could be getting things ready for um, a vacation, right? Anything where you are prepping for the moves that you're about to make right to let the arrow leave the bow this is good this means that action is on the horizon this is what we want to see for a new moon right got completions and we got things coming so it's definitely a week of action for earth signs now because we got the west card and not just one but two and back to back right out the gate heavy focus on other people you got some new beginnings with somebody else with it, like I said, it could be a new job. It could be a new romance. It could be a new business partner, right? A new friendship even, right? I don't always have to be romantic, but there's heavy, heavy focus on beginning a new life with somebody else. That's what it looked like, like a whole new chapter. Let's clarify the commence. Yep, you clarify the commence with entering. Wow. So one, one, entering, right? Barriers being lifted. Walking through new doors. We just said that with the commence. So it's a heavy, heavy, heavy focus. Um, some of y'all could be starting new relationships, new business partnerships. This is a heavy focus on the problems that you were dealing with before that were impeding this coming together. This partnership have now been lifted, right? You have to be careful because there will be a new set of obstacles as you walk through the door, but the door is definitely opening. It's wide open for you. Um, make sure that you are taking the action necessary, right? Because with the commence, you are about to shoot the arrow. But with the entering and saying, go through it, walk through this door, take it. Any opportunities that come to you this week, Earth signs, just take them. No, you know, don't second guess them, no questions asked. They are for you, especially if it re relates to somebody else um, or the direction west, <laughs> right? Opportunity to move westward. Um, like I said, make sure you're taking effort. You have to turn that knob in order to get through that door right you already have everything that you need she doesn't have she's not carrying any baggage or anything she's not second guessing herself she ain't scratching her head she's not looking around she's looking through the door um making sure that she is walking through at the right time in the right spot making sure that she's fully aware of the things that she's walking into as well and she's owning her power right and then we got four bamboo cart right contemplation wisdom um patience healing Letting your abundance come to you, right? So making sure that as you walk through these doors, you are making, like I said, with the entering, you're making the moves that are necessary, but you're still thinking, thinking it through, right? Earth signs usually don't need help, <laughs> you know, with uh, not with thinking things through, right? They are very methodical in that way, but make sure that you are contemplating things before you walk into them right so she she knows what door she chose that door that door didn't choose her she didn't just walk through a random door also this represents relief from anxiety 
right? So you have barriers being lifted and finally your fish can come to you. Finally, your abundance can come. Finally, whatever you've been trying to manifest, earth signs is coming with this full moon. This is going to be a great full moon. Um, <clears throat> because he's, he's, he's who sign after having dealt with, you know, a bunch of stuff. And so this is relief from that relief from mental illness, drug addiction, stress, right? As a result of these barriers having been lifted and then guess what? Healing healing so healing is finally coming some of you may be physically ill maybe dealing with some health stuff as a result of stress or as a result of the things that i just named um but your healing is finally here and you probably thought i'm never gonna get better right or the person if so if you're not sick then the person that you are this this west card because obviously these new beginnings are with somebody else this they could have been physically ill and you thought that this was never gonna heal itself it could be a child it could be a parent um a spouse it could be anybody but there's definitely healing there's definitely relief as barriers are being lifted for your new beginning so that's good because it looks like y'all been going through some stuff earth signs and let's clarify the first west card north yep i just said that look like y'all been going through some stuff and yeah so we got the north card we got the north no big deal because it's clarifying our west card so you had some drama you had some stress could be poverty money problems it could have been just issues not getting along with somebody right you have some issues but you have some new beginnings with somebody else these are two west cards so i feel like you are getting rid of somebody and tying the knot with somebody else that's what it's looking like um to me right your barriers are being lifted there was some stress and problems but don't worry about it what did i just tell you stress not anxiety commitments unwanted commitments being tied to somebody that you did not want to deal with in any capacity it could be a, a boss it could be an employee a co-worker that you didn't want to deal with that was stressing you out and now finally the barriers have been lifted maybe they got a new job maybe they got promoted maybe they got fired and now you can just rest easily um with this this first person <laughs> this first we're gonna clarify the second one six circles peach right your creativity is able to flow now you're feeling more yourself more like i said aligned with your divine feminine we have a lot of that if it seems like i've been saying that a lot if there's a reason for it because we're seeing the rise of the divine feminine anyway right mess whether you're a biological male or, or female right everybody has you got to balance it out so you're stepping back into your abundance your creativity your femininity your uh, your do right your wealth your extravagance you stepping back into that right this also could have meant a rival <laughs> a person that you had beef with a younger woman right but you're starting some new beginnings the barriers are being lifted she's gone she's leaving your life now let's talk about this other west card please phoenix lotus east So you got three circles, Phoenix, rising from the ashes, joy, splendor, right? With the second person coming out of the ashes, stepping into your true self, stepping into everything that you deserve and everything that you know that you are, right? That's happiness. That's joy. Five bamboo lotus, rebirth, reawakening, birth of a child birth of your own inner child so like you're happy now you're able to be creative now that this person is you know the barriers are being lifted and the person who brought you those barriers are being is being removed from your life um you're able to be more in tune with your inner child that's what i'm getting you're able to heal childhood wounds now look at the last card of spring you this is happiness this is joy you able to step into your own life and live your best life right so new beginnings for you barriers being lifted drama stress unwanted commitment with somebody but then with somebody else you know you got happiness and joy and reawakening being back in tune with your inner child being able to listen to yourself so this is good earth sign y'all y'all good just being in tune back to yourself look like you're coming back to who you are so let's get into the individual let's start with taurus nine bamboo willow okay first of all angel number nine see if that resonates with you taurus um talking about bouncing back basically they counted you out what happened is that 
the person who's causing you all the stress and this unwanted commitment that you're dealing with, they they counted you out. They didn't think you could do it. But you're showing them, even though, you know, you look on the outside, you look thin, you look like you're barely there, look like, um, you know, you are not doing well, you're doing fine. That tree is skinny, but its roots are go way well into the ground. You know that it's producing nourishment, right? It's healthy because, look, it still has leaves, and the leaves are green. So you're exhausted, you're tired, Taurus, but don't worry about it because now you have your new beginnings. Your barriers are finally being lifted, right? They counted you out, but you bounce back. You will get the laughter. You'll get the, 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 the last laugh in that situation. You there now, like with this full moon, this is in your sign, in earth signs, in Virgo, but it's in the earth signs, so y'all good. All right, let's see Capricorn. All right, five circles dragon. First of all, angel number 14, see if that resonates with you. So money, look, right, look. We just had the Chinese New Year, right, and the dragon is an auspicious animal in um, Chinese culture. So things are going your way. Things are going your way, Capricorn. You got some money coming in as a result of having the, these new beginnings, right? Could deal with finance. So you are letting go of a job or a business partner or even a way of thinking or dealing with the person. There is definitely another person, 100% another person, um, that by letting them go and by these barriers being lifted, you are now able to step into the things that are meant for you. This is luck. This is sudden luck, right? Again, so maybe the luck is that a person is leaving and now they, as a result of their leaving, you are being promoted, right? And you didn't even realize it. You didn't even apply for the promotion. You know, it's an option. Something like that or a business partner or it's income tax season, right? So that could be it too. But definitely, look, things definitely looking up for you, Capricorn. That's good. We like to see that money. Money, 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 money. <laughs> and Virgo, last but not least, is your full moon, Virgo. Eight circles, tiger. Angel number 17, look it up, see if it resonates. Virgo, be aggressive. These are your new beginnings. What did I tell you already? You need to step into this. You need to make sure that you are doing everything that's necessary. Virgos are earth signs, right? They're stable, but they can... Be guilty of falling too far back sometimes sometimes virgos like to let things come to them right they're quirky little earth signs because they have that groundedness but sometimes they can be in the background too much right you can't do that now is not the time for that virgo in order for your new beginnings to manifest in order for you to bring this person who's going to bring your joy and splendor into your life in whatever capacity you need to be bold you need to be courageous right be willing to take criticism be willing to take um um suggestions on how you can be better to improve the situation but you definitely got to take the action though virgo you definitely got to do it all right y'all thank you for listening have a good day peace out <laughs>